why you know, bodybuilding body isn't healthy. You know, you get your body, you know, in shape. But we know truly bodybuilding, it isn't healthy. And I want you to elaborate on that. What, what's bad about bodybuilding? For people, you know, the guys and goddesses that want to build a lot of muscle and just pack on a lot of muscle. Why is it unhealthy? To uh, the, muscle? the first thing is you're building up a lot of lactic acid when you're doing all of that, uh, that rigorous working out. You know, uh, calisthenics is a good workout. You're using your own body weight mm -hmm. uh, and you're doing things that's going to keep stretching the body uh, and you're going to keep, you know, building natural muscle. Uh, when you get into bodybuilding and weightlifting, for one, you're building a lot of lactic acid, which is going to burn you. It's very acidic. Uh, uh, for two, you're, you're lifting weights and you're packing on a lot of muscles. And by doing that, you need a lot of protein. We know that protein is very, very bad for the black community. We don't need protein. We need something called simple amino acid structures. Uh, on top of that, this mass is very, very heavy. So technically, bodybuilders are three times overweight. You see that? And that's why you see bodybuilders having heart attacks. And then they feel that they can eat anything they want and just stay in the gym all day, which is going to take your total life from you to build this body. And then the moment, and this is how you know that this stuff is built off of false analysis, because the moment that they stop working out, all of that muscle turn into what? Fat. fat right. They get fat and flabby. And most bodybuilders are people who have a lot of muscle. You, They look good, right? But their, their energy, their psyche, their mind, it doesn't really seem attractive. They have no vitality around them. They have nothing special going on with their mind you know because it's a spirit in that it's, it's a spirit in working out you know you, you're dealing with low thought form frequencies when you're dealing with that notice you're in the mirror all day you flexing all flexing. day like that, that's a whole spirit you literally in the seat of ego at this point mm. and then but you have to compensate remember for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction mm. so when you get older in the moment that you lose that spirit your body be destroyed and your kidneys are destroyed from it there's so many bodybuilders that's coming to us now with heart disease and kidney failure because these high keto pro or these high protein diets which is killing the kidneys and killing the liver or they have cardiovascular disease and issues because they're messing up the heart because they're packing all these tissues and all these pounds on plus they are living in an acidic lifestyle because they are building up so much lactic acid now the question is you got to ask how did the gorilla get all of those muscles and why is the gorilla the strongest you know a uh, uh, mammal technically in the jungles and they don't eat no high protein diets it don't eat no meat or none of that these things are literally, I ain't, and I'm not talking about your hybrid gorillas with they, who they forced to the top of the mountains. I'm talking about your low plane gorillas. When you study them, they're naturally frugivores. They might eat bamboo shoots and a little bit of uh, grass here and there. But if you study their diets, their diets is 96% fruits. Where did they get all of their muscle from? That's the question that these bodybuilders need to be asking. Wow. Yeah, a lot of bodybuilders, a lot of people who want to build on muscle, the first thing they think is like, oh, man, you know, I, I can't. I can't go vegan, I can't go alkaline, I can't go plant-based, you're not getting enough protein. And it's just like the, the psychological misconception of why like they don't understand going vegan you can still gain muscle. You got the nuts, you know. What, what are some foods that can gain you that muscle? Uh, like you said, you do have the amino acid uh, nut kingdom. Uh, be careful with the nuts, though, because these are phytic acids, so you got to make sure that you sprout these nuts. Mm -hmm. That way you won't eat all the phytic and nitric acid that's in them. You also got avocados, which is fat, fatty acids that'll help you build up that muscle. I um, mean, you got so many things. You got your sprouts. Uh, uh, you got your lagoon family. You got your quinoa, which is the seeds, and all. And most of these things I'm talking about is a, is a fruit. The reproductive system of a plant is a fruit. When you talk about beans, that's the reproductive system of a, of a plant. It's called a plant embryo. You know. So that's the reproductive, that's a fruit. When wow. you talk about legumes, or you talk about, you know, chickpeas, which is a legume, or you talk about, uh, uh, or you talk about uh, quinoa, which is a legume, you talk about lentils, which is a legume, these are the seeded part of the plant, that's a fruit. So anything that I'm finna, when you talk about avocado that builds up fatty acids, or coconut flesh, which has high yields of arginine in it, which builds up fatty acids, all these things are talking about fruits. So fruits build muscle, we just haven't been educated on how to do it properly, mm -hmm. and that's the reason why we need to build our own health, financial, and, and history institutes, or her story institutes, where we can really bring the proper education to our children and, and, and to our people, where we can be like put on a direct path to greatness and liberation. Man. So let's go on to another level.